the Shanae Pretorius. My name is Blessing Pretorius and I'll be your guest host today once again with these lovely ladies. I've got with me Robin Pretorius and I've got with me Euphrasia, soon to be Pretorius Montwedi. Um, say hi ladies. Hi everyone, we're so glad to be here. We are so excited for yes. today's session. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, it's good to be back once again and yeah, I'm super excited for the lineup. We're going to have an incredible show and um, once again, if you are joining us from YouTube or you're joining us from Facebook Live, we're so excited to have you with us. Don't forget to click subscribe if you're on YouTube and don't forget to switch on that notification on Facebook so that you can keep up with what Pastor Shane is doing. And before we continue, let us invite the presence of the Lord and let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, um, for this day. This is the day that you have made. We will be glad and we will rejoice in it. Lord, we are excited to hear from you and to hear from your word. And I pray that your power, Lord, would 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 fall on us and would be with each and every lady that is watching us today. In the name of Jesus, may your word bring faith to our hearts. We are excited to hear from you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 So we're going to greet all of you who have, once again, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to greet you on YouTube and on Facebook. Robin. All right. Hello, YouTube. Right. Mm -hmm. Michal from Moiklo, Kulu from Polokwane, Rosalind and Priscilla from Pretoria North, and Mutsa from Abu Dhabi, um, Mathlodi from Polokwane, Susan from Centurion, Tatenda from Imathleni, uh, Marty, Zintle, Barbara <laughs> from Centurion. Hello, everybody. Tabile, Masejo, Ntombi, Lilani, Mahotso, Retumetse, um, Chantal. It's so good to have everybody on YouTube. We're so there's so many more. Uh, Molochladi, Rose. Um, it's so good to have you guys. And on Facebook? Yes, on Facebook here we have Lydia joining us. Hi, Lydia. And Pastor Arch. Whoa. Saying Boosie and the girls saying hello. Hi there. And then we have um, uh, Lavi from Pretoria North joining us with Mabel from Rustenburg and we have um, Darlene joining us from the Philippines. Hello there. And we have uh, Rishal, Galimba, Agrava, Yani, Ragalia. Praise God. I hope I pronounce all of them right. And then we have um, Butu joining us. We have Dineo. We have Lala joining us. We have Lindy and we have um, Pons all the way or Princess. And then we have uh, Jackie all the way in Durantluf and then Possumandi as well watching and uh, we have, uh, ooh, it's a lot of people. Hey, Ashanti. Hi, Ashanti. We have uh, New Lin saying hello. We have um, Anastasia saying hello as well. And we have so much more. Good morning to you all. Thank you for the comments. We have Pindile. We have Rosie. We have Norma. Hi, Auntie Norma. And we have uh, Amor Ellen. Uh, Oh, Engelbert and um, all the way from Cape Town. Hi, and Pastor Lorindi joining us. And we have um, so much more. Princess Mashilu. Hi, girl. So much stuff. Hey, and we have Melissa and we have Sandra. We have Elizabeth. We have Musa, Dineo, and so much more. Hi to everyone. Um, good to have you with us. Awesome. And um, once again, don't forget to click subscribe to this channel or switch on your notifications on Facebook. And as you can see, Pastor Shanae is not with us today, um, but I've got exciting news. She will be back with us next week, same time, same place. So we look forward to having her back. And um, please do continue to keep her in your prayers. Um, Robin, won't you pray for her before we continue? Yes. Father God, we thank you for Pastor Shanae's life. And we thank you, Jesus, that your blood covers her. And that as she takes this time to rest and to heal, that you may restore her body to its original design. That you may rejuvenate everything, Father God. And that she may be at top health when she comes out of this. And we thank you, Jesus, that you carry her, that you are with her, and that you are forever faithful. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. 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 And uh, thank you, yes, to all those who have been sending her the gift and um, the lovely messages. She really does appreciate it. So thank you to um, all those who have sent um, their messages and gifts. 
So, up next, we've got an incredible lady by the name of Pastor Busi Bilangulu, who is married to Pastor Arch Bilangulu. They are pastors at 3C Church. They are incredible ministers of the word and have an incredible ministry as well um, and a beautiful family. Um, let's check out what she has to say to us. Check it out. Good morning, ladies. It's that time of the week again for the girls with Pastor Shone Pretorius. And we are privileged to be led by such exemplary leaders in Pastor Bert and Pastor Shone. They're always leading from the front, showing us how to be Jesus in a world that needs to see the expression of the love of God through us. We are grateful. And I am particularly encouraged today by a scripture you may know well from Jeremiah 29 verse 11. It says there, God says, I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you you plans to give you a, a future and a hope the next verse says and you will call to me you will pray to me and I will answer imagine girls God is in the business of answering our prayer do you know that at that time the children of Israel were actually in captivity in Babylon and they had actually been in captivity because of their own wrongdoing but even in that place God said if you pray to me I will answer you so I want to encourage you whether you are in captivity in your heart in your mind maybe there's pressure even with the situations around you God says when we call on him he will answer later on in the verse it says there that God will restore the fortunes that we have lost God wants to restore your peace of mind. He wants to restore your joy. He wants to restore your hope for the future. And so as girls, we can trust God. He is good, he is faithful, and he takes care of his daughters. Thank you, Pastor Shanae, for the opportunity. We're going to get into the word today. Thank you so much, Pastor Busi, um, for those incredible words. We really love you and appreciate you. Um, you are an inspiration to us all. Um, today, we're going to be speaking about the power of praise and worship. And if you want to put a title to this, we're going to title this, Turn Your Praise On. Turn Your Praise On. So I'm going to start off by reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 61 and this is a great piece of um, you know scripture one of our favorites we all know it starts off with the spirit of the Lord is upon me too right and the prophet Isaiah he he, he writes this you know I'm um, starting off with you know the spirit of the Lord is, is upon me because he has anointed me too and now he goes into um, you know to 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 preach the gospel to the poor to um, you know set liberty to those who are you know in prison to those who are oppressed to help them but I love in um, verse 3 of Isaiah 61 he says there to console those who mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of mourning for the garment of praise um, the oil of mourning the garments of praise for a spirit of heaviness the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness another translation the NIV translation says the garments of praise for the spirit of despair. The NASB version says, a garments of praise for the spirit of fainting. Did you know that despair and heaviness, did you know that heaviness is a spirit? But the Holy Spirit of God helps us with this, that when we decide, when we choose to put our faith in God, to put our trust in God, to put our hope in God, when we choose this and we choose to open up our mouths in the middle of the most difficult circumstance and say, God, I praise you. God, I worship you because you are good to me. You have been good to me and your praise shall forever be on my lips. The moment we enter into that mode of praise and worship in the middle of our circumstance, you know what happens? That spirit of heaviness, it's lifted up off us. And what happens is the spirit of God places on us a spirit of praise, a garment of praise. And it's so important as children of God that we learn the importance of praising God and worshiping God, even in the most difficult circumstances. Robin, will not you tell us how important this is? Yeah, well, you know, um, the power of praise is so important because it's the instrument that God uses to make His power evident in our lives. Mm. And I think really something we need to come to understand is that in every situation and in every moment, our praise pleases God and that there is always a time to praise God. Mm. Amen. Amen. 
how we should praise God, okay? Yes. Um, most people might ask themselves, okay, how do we go about doing this? And um, you could do this by praising him with your whole heart. It says in the book of Psalms 111 verse 1, that I will praise the Lord and I will extol him with all my heart. Mm. Amongst the counsel, the godly mm. counsel. And it's such an important, um, you know, aspect to understand that our hearts need to be involved in praise. And also it's important to praise him with our intelligence. Amen. Amen. And so... No matter how we feel, you might be feeling like the weakest person in that moment. You might be feeling like giving up, no matter how you feel. The moment you open up your mouth and declare the excellence of the Lord, you give him room to come into your situation and turn it around for you. So we might face a multitude of enemies at our sides. And sometimes you feel like assault is coming from all sides where you're like, God, when is enough going to be enough? And God cannot really, you know, get through it. And the answer is yes, you can through this. So you know what? Go ahead and frustrate the plans of the enemy. Yes. Go ahead and frustrate the plans of the enemy by doing this praising, yes. by praising. So when you're feeling weak, praise. Yes. When you feel you don't understand, praise. When you feel discouraged, praise. When you feel like you are at the end of your road, praise. When you feel like you're about to give up on that marriage, mm. praise. When you yeah. feel you're about to give up on your children, on that child that is not serving the Lord, mm. praise. You know why? Because God has got you. And it really does frustrate the enemy. Mm. It frustrates the adversary completely mm. when you do the opposite of what he expects you to do. See, he wants you to speak negatively. He wants you to remain in your despair. He wants you to dwell on your tough situation. But when you praise, you take him off he you know you take him by surprise yeah. and he's not gonna know what to do why because praise mm. is gonna get you out of your despair and your heaviness and praise mm. also is going to keep it out of keep you out of it now robin and you fraser you know I've, I've known both of you for a little while now yep. and um walking with you for 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 this time that we've been walking together i've seen both of you really um you know being insp inspiring in this i've seen both of you overcome mm -hmm. and conquer this this um you know this the spirit of heaviness these moments of despair and of sorrow and depression um whatever you want to call it um tell me robin how 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 does a person get there well, you know, um, for me personally, I had to make a decision. It's all about deciding to trust God. Mm -hmm. You either trust God and you believe God and you put your life in His hands or you don't. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to having a moment and having a time of, you know, I don't know what to do, I'm struggling with this. Yes, sometimes we get hard news and we have to process that. But in that processing of this information, it's mm. not feeling sorry for myself. Mm. It's deciding I'm going to have faith in God. Mm. It's deciding that I trust Him. I trust Him with my life and that He will keep me no matter what. Mm. So really getting out of that moment of I'm struggling, I don't know how to do this, mm. instead of feeling sorry for yourself mm. and weeping for yourself, mm. it'll be a moment of saying, you know what? I trust you, Lord. Mm. My life is in your hands and I make the decision of that today. Mm. And Euphrasia, won't you, won't you, um, you know, elaborate a little bit on that once again? You know, I, I know that you, you've also gone through tough, tough moments, mm -hmm. um, you know, even where there was a time where you were, you know, had to get extreme help. And um, so how, how, how do you remain, um, like I said, praise gets you out yes. and praise keeps, keeps you, you out yes. of that place of despair. Yes. Mm, yeah, um, and it is true for my life as well. And I've realized that really when you put on the garment of praise, it makes a difference. So I'm a, um, a person that really delights in uh, a quote that Pastor Cesar uh, Castellanos once um, said. It says that praise 
causes an extraordinary spiritual joy. Mm. And I've seen that in my life as well, that it's not just, um, you know, merely something that we do, but it, it has power, as Robin said in the beginning as well. Mm. It has extraordinary power from God to lift a spirit of heaviness mm. upon our lives. Mm. And so I'm a living testimony of that. And I'm grateful that at a young age, I learned the importance of being at a place where you praise God mm. in every situation. Mm. Mm. Amen. And so really... Um, it, it's so important for us to to love praise, to love praise. When we praise the Lord, you know, the book of um, Joel, chapter 2, verse 32, it says that there, it says, those who call upon the name of the Lord mm -hmm. shall be saved. Yes. And so it's so, so important mm -hmm. that even in our darkest times that we would go ahead and call on the name of the Lord. And we do this when we praise him and just say, God, you are good. You are mighty. You are powerful. You are good to me. I praise you. Um, I am alive today. I'm alive. And, you know, God is really... Um, he wants us to get that to that place of extreme faith mm -hmm. to say, Lord, even if I get to a place where I have nothing, where absolutely not, I have nothing, where nothing goes right, even, and I mean, we, we see this in the book of Job, the things that the man went through, it's extreme and it's difficult, but God wants us to get to a place where we say, Lord, even if I have nothing in this earth, I will continue to praise you. Your praise will forever be on my lips because even if my circumstances in this world change, you don't change. And that's the thing about God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And that is why praise will always be fitting to him. So many scriptures on praise in the Bible says this, that God, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are befitting of all my praise forever and ever. Why? Because he is the same forever and ever. Even if our circumstances change, go up and down, get better, get worse, right? He remains the same. He is always on our side. He was always fighting for us. He is always, always looking out for us. And we are never, ever alone. Amen. 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 So here's what we're going to do next. Up next, we're going to have Chef Damien um, really show us once again some cooking skills like i said last week for those of you who are foodies you're gonna love this for those of you who are kitchenly challenged you're also gonna love this here's a new recipe to add to your books um chef damien go ahead and take it away yeah awesome uh, thank you for having me on the show i'm glad to be able to cook for you guys and i hope that you guys are going to enjoy what i'm going to make it's really 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 simple uh, I'm going to make some noodles for those of you who like quick food at home. So I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add some boiling water to the noodles. Pop it in the microwave for about a minute and a half. Don't want to overcook the noodles then. While that's happening, we're going to get started with our pan over here. This is called a wok. A wok is really good because it distributes the heat upon the, the, the whole pan, uh, even on the sides, which is nice. So we're just going to add in some butter. Going to let that melt. Then from the butter, we're going to add in onion. about garlic is when you fry it to that golden brown it goes from being a bitter taste to a sweeter kind of taste 
that's why I love garlic so much, especially garlic and butter, just such an awesome combination. Then we're gonna go from the garlic, we're gonna go from the garlic to the ginger. This is just a fancy grater called the microplane. So if you have a grater at home, you can use that. Always best to grate the ginger. About half a thumb is enough. Just make sure you scrape all the stuff that's left because that's the good part. Then we're gonna add it all to our butter that's been melted and now the pan is hot. While this is cooking, I'm going to check on the noodles. I'll say they can stand for another minute. We don't want to overcook the noodles because we don't like it when it's all mushy and soft. It defeats the purpose. Even two minute noodles, you can make two minute noodles taste nice. You know, you don't have to do everything yourself even though I've shown you how to make your own pasta you know now that you can do it you don't have to just gonna drain the water okay then I'm gonna take the noodles add it into there get it all nice and mixed up We're gonna add in some soy sauce. Soy sauce is really strong, so you don't have to use that much. I say about a tablespoon is enough. Then we're gonna let that coat everything. And you're gonna see it's gonna go from looking wet to something that's more sticky and it's gonna fry up nicely. Now it's become sticky, a darker brown. You can see there's no liquid left. Doing just to top it off. For those of you who like creamy things, adding a little bit of coconut milk. What you want to do here is just let the coconut milk reduce a bit. So it's going to take about a minute to two minutes to reduce. But while that's happening, we can add in our toppings. So we can add in our jalapenos, depending on how much you want. You know, it's up to you. I'm a, I'm a spicy guy. So I like more spice in my things. Wow, that smells absolutely amazing. I've got to say thank you so much to Chef Damien for that. Um, so we are going to taste what Damien has 
later on um, while you check out the recipe at home. It smells absolutely delicious in here. And um, also, um, I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely delicious as well. Once again, thank you so much, Damien. And remember, a video of um, exactly how Damien is making this will be available um, for you later on today. There we go. There's the finished product. He's handing us the finished product yeah. now. As Damien says, best served with chopsticks. Mm. I can't eat with chopsticks, so I'll be using a fork. <laughs> I'll be learning how to use the chopsticks today. Thank you so much, Chef Damien, for that. Um, it smells absolutely delicious. So up next, we are going to go into our sanity um session now so we're gonna go into our sanity session um for all the parents for all the moms once again as we said last week you are great you are awesome you are doing a good job god is on your side god is gonna help you um so for today we're gonna speak about um you know the importance of taking a break from your devices, from, from that phone, from that iPad, um, from the television, you know, and, and, and especially for all our kids and all of our loved ones. We're going to speak about that. We're going to give you just three points. So first of all, the, it is important, okay, to have a balance and to teach the, the importance of having balance and the concept of having balance um, where a device is involved. So if you're going to be on your iPad for two hours, you need to make sure that you play for another two hours. You know, it's just an example of, um, you know, of, 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 of the balance there. Our children need to have time to play outside with their toys. This actually helps them to develop as well and to de de develop certain skills and you know drawing skills building skills math skills all of that um, so it's important to have that balance and teach the balance to your our children that they understand that okay even though I've got my iPad and it's got all the movies that I love and all the games that I love, right now the kids love Sonic. There's a Sonic game that they can't get enough of, um, but that it's important to have balance. Uh, what's point number two? Secondly, we have, it is so important to have a schedule and a routine that the kids themselves know. Mm. Um, so in our house, on a school night is no TV night. Mm. <laughs> and they know that and they're aware of that. And so it is important to have a steady routine that they can follow so that you and for firstly not asked 400 times when can I watch TV because mm. you can say what is today and they already know today yeah. is not TV time and yeah. they can go play outside so it's so important to stick to a routine be consistent with them mm. make sure that you have like blessing said an equal balance of outside time play time mm. and device mm. time mm. so that they can learn their motor skills and all those things yeah, um, yeah. And point number three. Thirdly, yes, um, it's very important to lead by example. Oh, yes. Um, wow. Imagine telling them to do something, but we're doing the opposite. So as parents, let's make sure that we're not constantly on the laptop, on the iPad, on the phone or working. And, um, you know, we're not giving attention to perhaps spending time with them or whatever it might be. So leading by example, making sure that what you're telling them to do, you're doing yourself. Because mm -hmm. as Pastor Bert always says, um, the children, especially the young ones, if they they see something, they're looking for genuineness. If yeah. they see something, yeah. um, they will see through you. It's not just, okay, you know, if I tell them to do it, then therefore it is. But you need to make sure that you lead by example, even in your state of being in the way yeah. that you live. So they do what they see yes. you do and not what they you tell them, tell to, them do, to do, right? Mm. Right. So awesome. So we have come to the end of our show for today. Aww. Aww. So once again, just to remind our Pastor Shanae will be back with us next week. Please, we would love to hear from you. Um, SMS us on triple three four seven or WhatsApp us on our WhatsApp number just below the screen. Or you can also email the It's a Girl Thing account as well. We'd love to hear from you, your testimonies, your questions, your um, however we can help you. We'd love to hear from you remember to subscribe um, to this youtube channel or if you're watching us from facebook live remember to click on so that you can switch on that notification and keep up with what pastor shanae is doing um, we're gonna close in prayer you afraid you want you close in prayer first yes, let's pray dear heavenly father thank you for your presence lord of god and then through this show we thank you that the word that has been spoken lord 
will do what it is, what you intend for it to do. And Holy Spirit, we pray, Lord, help us, Lord, guide us through this word, that we may be people of praise, O Heavenly Father, that we may put on a garment of praise, O Lord, in mm. every situation. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, Lord of God, that even for those who might be going through um, a lot, Lord of God, a spirit of heaviness or sorrow, whatever it might be, thank you that praise will bring them through in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord of God, for a time such as this where we can spend time in your word, in your presence, Lord, and we uh, give you all the praise and all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you once again for joining us today. Remember, put on that garment of praise. Keep praising God no matter what the situation is. He loves you. He is on your side. And keep hope alive because hope keeps us hopeful for the future and, um, and, it, and it keeps our faith alive as well. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. No matter the age, no matter the background, no matter the journey. Ladies, this is for you. To the mother, the daughter, and the sister. This is for you. We invite you to join us for an encouraging jam-packed program with Pastor Shanae Pretorius every Thursday at 11 a.m. For every girl, for the girls.